Hello everyone and welcome back to the final part of how to install Windows 7 within VirtualBox. Now uh, if you missed the last video you really want to go and watch that because we're just finished installing it and uh, now we're just going to tweak a few things to get it widescreen and uh, stuff like that. So uh, yeah once again if you haven't seen that video just either click the annotation on the screen or press the link in the description but uh, you really should watch it it's a pretty good video and it's quite helpful so uh, I'd recommend that you watch that but um once you've watched it, just open up the virtual machine that we created in the last tutorial. And uh, what you just want to do now is, up here, is press Devices, CD, DVD Devices, and where the tick is, here, just uncheck that. And now press the right control button, and R, and uh, then press OK. So now basically what we've done is, we've removed the ISO file, which... Um, which we uh, use to install Windows. So it's uh, if we left that in, what it would do is it would try and install Windows every time we boot it up. So um, just by removing that, it will just boot straight away instead of trying to install or repair it or anything like that. So um, yeah, now we've done that, it will boot as normal. It might take a few. Uh, it might take a couple of minutes longer than your normal Windows 7 computer because. Um, uh, because the it won't have as much RAM and it won't have um, as much speed from the CPU, but um, it still should be relatively quick. It shouldn't be really, really slow. So uh, yeah, as you can see, it's just booting up. So um, let's leave this a few minutes, and we can make this full screen by pressing the right control button and F. And it's just doing this because it's one of the first times we've booted up and it's just doing updates and things like that. So uh, it should be quicker on other times that we do it. Okay, so as you can see we've got to our login screen and uh, in the last video I set the password to test123. So if we log in, hopefully everything will work okay. Okay, and uh, as you can see, everything looks pretty good. The only bad thing is we haven't got it widescreen, but uh, that's something that we're going to sort out in just a minute. Uh, it looks like it's pretty much booted up, so what I'm going to do is just press the start button in our virtual machine and go over to computer. And uh, hopefully we... Um oh, wait, sorry. Um, what we need to do is we need to press right control and F again to go out of full screen, press devices and then here install guest editions. Now um, this will allow us to get uh, everything working correctly and have it full screen. Like uh, not full screen like this but full screen as in widescreen. So uh, now we've pressed install guest editions hopefully in just a minute we'll get a pop-up or it will either yeah, we'll either get a pop-up or it will appear in computer and as you can see here We've got VirtualBox uh, guest editions, and here it is up here. So uh, if we press Run VirtualBox uh, Windows guest editions, and uh, if you've got a pop up, just press Yes. Uh, next, and now um, I just wanted to say before we continue, this isn't going to work straight away. I'm just going to show you what will happen if we just try and install this straight away. So if we press Next. Um, enable 3D support, press yes. And as you can see we get a um, an error message saying Windows, Windows is currently not running in safe mode so direct 3D support cannot be installed. So we could just continue without this but um, for those of you who do want it I'll show you how to boot into safe mode and then how to install it successfully then get back out of safe mode and it should be all set up. So we'll just quit this, go start, type M S config and we should have this here so if you just press enter or click on it now as you can see we've got a system configuration uh, window pop up just go into boot press safe boot and leave it on minimal press apply and OK now just press restart now hopefully this will restart our computer into safe mode, not our main computer, just the virtual one. 
and then we'll be able to install the guest editions then basically what we'll do is we'll just do the same in reverse we'll open up MS config once again and then once we've opened that we can just press uh, we can uncheck the safe boot and then uh, everything should be okay so as you can see it's booting up into the safe boot mode now uh, this shouldn't take too long if anything it would be quicker than booting normally but it only opens the necessary drivers just to get the computer started I don't think you can even go on the internet with this but um yeah, as you can see it just has minimal services and it looks like we're nearly there now Okay, so if we just put in our password, test123, and we're now booting into safe mode. And uh, I just thought I'd say, if you ever need to boot into safe mode for whatever reason, on your main computer, you can do it in the same way, because it's still Windows 7, but, um, yeah, so if you ever want to do that, just a little quick tip for you. Now if we go over to computer, we can see whether guest editions are still there, or whether we need to press, um, yeah, we need to press install guest editions again. So just go out to full screen, devices, install guest editions. Yeah, I know that this is a bit boring at the moment, but once it's well, once this is all done, then uh, we're ready to go. So um, let's close this. Next. I'm not going to read through all of this because we've already done it. Okay, so now if you press Direct 3D Support and Yes, and Install. As you can see this time, we're installing successfully, and uh, because we're in safe mode, and I'm just going to press Always Trust and Install. So yeah, now we're in safe mode, it's installing uh, successfully. And uh, I'm just going to pause the video and come back, because if I remember rightly, this does take a few minutes. So, um, yeah, oh. Uh, you do get an error if you just press uh, abort, uh, no not abort, if you just press ignore. Actually no point uh, me pausing it, it's just finished. But um, right now you're going to make sure that you select manually reboot later. And that's quite important otherwise you'll just reboot straight back into safe mode and that's not what we want. If you type msconfig again, open it up, boot, uncheck safe mode press apply, press ok and restart. Now uh, in case you hadn't guessed it, we're now going to restart the computer and hopefully it will be uh, widescreen. If it isn't, we can just close it down, open it again and then it will be. So uh, I don't think it is at the moment, so just to play safe I'm going to press right control and R and reset. So now this should uh, boot correctly. Just press start windows normally. Uh, just give it a minute and we'll get to our login screen once again. I know that this has taken a while, but uh, like I said, it should be worth it. And as you can see, you know, I can move my mouse to the edge of the screen so we know that it's widescreen now. So, um,. Yeah, hopefully the desktop will be widescreen and everything will be sorted and I'll just prove to you that everything works and then we'll all be finished. So now if we just uh, type in our password. I know that you can see that it isn't um, fully widescreen but you can just go into window settings and change your resolution. And uh, yep, here we go. We've now got it fully widescreen. And like I just said, if it isn't fully widescreen for you, you can change your resolution just like this by right clicking on your desktop. And you can change the screen resolution, but mine's perfect, so uh, I don't need to do that. I can just close it once it opens.
It's a little bit slow because we've only just booted up and it's in a virtual machine, but um, yeah, I'm just going to prove to you that everything works. I'll just uh, open up Internet Explorer. And hopefully we'll be connected to the internet as long as your main computer is, this should be. If I just try and load up Google. Ooh, don't want to do this at the moment. Now this is why I really hate Internet Explorer, it just comes up with loads of stuff here. You know, I recommend that you get Chrome, but uh, anyway, if we open up Google, and as you can see, everything's working fine. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned how to install everything successfully. If uh, anything hasn't worked, just leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, thanks for watching, I'd really appreciate it if you left a like, and I'll see you in the next video.